Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H. And today on the project, we're going to talk about wiring harnesses and how to select the right one for your project. All right, guys, there you have it. Jeep Cherokee XJ wiring harnesses. This is multiple wiring harnesses from at least three Cherokees, and there's enough wires in here to complete a whole Cherokee project. So I'm gonna go through what you need to know about these wiring harnesses when selecting one for your project. And we'll start with the most important part, in my opinion, uh, for what you need in your project. And we'll uh, take it right over here to the fuse panel. Now these fuse panels can tell you a lot about what you need to know for your wiring and just by knowing what you have can simplify your project a great deal. So your main fuse box is connected to the engine harness. Now this harness goes all throughout the engine bay, it connects all the uh, fuel injector wires, it connects um, the PCM wires up in here to the computer. Um, on the driver's side, it goes all the way down to your pump for your wipers, um, wiper motors, even your horn. And then on the other side, going across the engine, it would be your battery connections, um, cruise control wires, and all the way down to your ambient air sensor. So this harness is important because the fuse box will tell you exactly what you need to know about what's inside the Cherokee. And you're gonna take a look at the map on the underside of the fuse box. Now take a good look at the order of these components here on the map. Now there are some differences in these components on different years of the Cherokees. All components, American components, Russian components, all made in Taiwan. Now I know they all look the same, but one mixed wire in this fuse box could mess up your build really bad. So if you guys ever need to find a replacement harness, try to stick with the same year. So yeah, so sticking with the same year would be my first rule of thumb. My second rule of thumb would be to go by the options of the vehicle. We have options, Scott! Look at this! Now, if you have a base model XJ or a sport model XJ, you can easily pop a wire harness from a limited in yours and everything will work the same. You'll even have some added features if you choose. But if you have a limited XJ that has heated seats, power seats, fog lights, uh, cruise control, overhead console, and you grab a harness from a lower model XJ, you will miss out on a lot of features. Why? Because Jeep saved money by not wiring everything the same. And I'll show you that right now with this. So you can see right here, the Jeep that this wire harness came from did not have ABS, but the Jeep that this came from did have ABS. So there's a difference right there. Now let's come over to this one. And this says fog lights. And also up here you could see that this one did not have fog lights. So your ABS light, fog one and fog two, these are all blank. While this harness, it did have ABS, fog one and fog two. So the harness on this Cherokee was a lot more sophisticated. Mm, sophisticated mama. So now if we come over here, this is the harness I pulled from Beach Jeep. And you could tell that Beach Jeep had no ABS. And it also did have fog lights. And if you open up the back, you can see all the wires coming from the fuses. So this fuse block is definitely a great place to start when you're looking for the right harness for your build. 
Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet with Beach Jeep. I did want to reuse this harness because I know everything works on it. However, it is kind of hacked from all my old mods. So I'd like to have a cleaner harness. I don't know. So these are all my engine harnesses. Um, now, if I don't use Beach Jeeps again, then I might use this one. Uh, it's got the fog lights and it's got the ABS. Even though I don't have ABS on the Jeep, uh, it'd be interesting to try to put it on. I don't know. I've never added ABS to a Jeep that didn't have ABS. Who knows? Um, this harness is complete wiring harness for the engine of a Sport Cherokee. Um, now I pulled this harness myself. I didn't take any shortcuts and I didn't hack off any connectors. Hack to death. So that's another thing to look for. You're gonna wanna make sure that none of these connectors were just snipped off and, and you have a chunk of wires hanging out. Uh, that would be a red flag to me. That's a big no-no. You're gonna wanna make sure there's no cuts or big splices. Uh, if somebody spliced the wires together, they could have swapped something and that could be a nightmare for you and you'd never know. So a complete harness is also good. Um, an interesting point to know is that the Jeep Cherokees are very versatile. Even though you might have a more base package, um, I think this was my brother's harness. Um, it did not have fog lights, but you could just add a relay and a switch put your own fog lights in. You could even use a factory three hole switch bezel and just wire up the fog lights on your own. But the coolest part is you could add cruise control if you put in a clock spring, a uh, vacuum pump, and the buttons from a matching year. Uh, you could add an overhead console that wires up right into the junction box. You would need the overhead console itself, the wire harness that goes down the passenger side a pillar and, and plugs into the junction box and you would also need that little bracket that holds it in place on the roof. You could even add heated mirrors. Um, the heated mirrors just plugs right into the door harness and they go on when you click the defrost button. That's all pretty cool uh, XJ secrets. And here we have a look at the junction box in the Cherokee. <laughs> junction box Goes up and plugs into the dash harness through that big block. And wires also run throughout the Cherokee. Blah! And I'll show you that. So here are the wires that go into the junction block. And this is all on the passenger side. Goes all the way back down to the tail lights. And you even have this hose for your wiper fluid. This is actually part of the wire harness, believe it or not. So make sure this isn't snipped either. And coming along on the driver's side, this plugs into the dash harness. This goes into your doors. All the way back down to your driver's side taillights and there's connectors for tow wires. And moving over to the dashboard harness. Now, this is a mess. Now, I don't know if you watched me remove this out of Beach Jeep. This was quite the nightmare. This is an alarm system. And it actually works, so I might try to reuse this. I'm gonna definitely have to clean this up. It's a nightmare right now, but uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to wire it all back together. I wanna make it clean, possibly reuse it. And over here is something to look out for, is a snipped off pigtail. Uh, I did this hastily when I was trying to do a repair to Black Beauty, and I regret cutting it off, but this one is only six wires, and this is to the uh, rear wiper button, so that's no big deal. Here's some other splices I made back in the day. I guess uh, somebody hacked the radio harness and uh, put it back together. Oh, and here's uh, fog light buttons and other buttons for other switches. Now, an important thing to note, fog lights is one of the few things that aren't plug and play in XJs. You cannot just simply add a button on the three hole switch bezel and swap out a fog light harness into your header panel. It will not work because the wires don't connect through the harness. 
into the fuse box and back through the header panel. So you could try, it will not work. It's just not plug and play, unfortunately. But again, fog lights are very easy to add. Just get yourself a factory three hole switch bezel, power up the switch and run your wires to a relay, power up the lights, power up the relay, and you're good to go. But if I may, please, please find yourself a factory fog light switch. Don't, don't take this thing that doesn't have the switch Take this blank and just hack it up and add a little switch. Ah, that drives me crazy. I know it's done a lot. Uh, it's really no big deal, but it's one of my pet peeves. I can't stand it. I don't know. If you want this, I'll sell it to you. All right, guys, and the last thing I want to leave you with when looking for a wire harness, be very, very careful not to buy something that looks like this. Now, <laughs> this was the headlight switch. And this is severely burnt and melted. Um, I would steer clear of anything that looks like this. You don't know what's been fried inside. You don't know where wires could be shorted and touching each other, um, broken. Once this happens, um, you could be asking for a lot of trouble. So don't buy yourself wire harnesses that have plugs and connectors that look like this. All right, guys, that's it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful when selecting a wire harness to best suit your project. Um, I got a lot of cleaning up to do, so thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next project. Romantic lady, single baby, mm, sophisticated mama. Come on, you disco lady. Say to me tonight, mama. Yes, it's ladies' night. Oh, what a night. Chakakon. Thank you. This is Jimmy Moore saying that ain't no sock in my garage. Okay, take four, everybody.